Welcome to Activity 49. In this activity, we will be using part, part, whole to find missing numbers in subtraction equations and addition equations. In the subtraction equations, the missing number can be in the whole position or in the part position. In the addition equations, the missing number is in this part position. I'm going to model for you three examples, one, two, three, solving them using part, part, whole. So in this one, whole subtract part equals part. I know the part of 13. I know the part of 7. So I need to join the two parts together to find the whole of 20. So 20 would be the missing number. The other type of subtraction equation, I know the whole of 20. I know one part of 12. So I stop and think, what joins with the part of 12? And that would be, I add on or join the part of 8. So 8 would be the missing number. And finally, for the addition, I know the part of 18. And I know the whole of 20. So what joins to the part of 18? Or what do we add on to build the whole of 20? It's 2. So the 2 would go there. Let's begin. To complete this activity, each player needs approximately 10 counters. The aim is to be the first player to place three counters consecutively, either in a column going vertically up and down, in a row going horizontally across, or in a diagonal in that direction or that direction. When we look at the spinner, these numbers will be the parts and for the activity, this 20 would go in the whole position for subtraction, such as here, here, here and here. Player one goes first. They spin four, so they stop and think I know the part of 4. What would join with this to build 20? That would be 16. So I'm going to scan the board for 16. And I can see one here. And yes, the 4 could fit here. And I would say 16 add 4 equals 20. I'm going to place my counter there. Player 2 has their turn. And they spin 20. So they need to place their counter where the whole of 20 would fit. And I'm going to place it here. And I say 20 subtract 18 equals 2. Player 1 has their next turn. And they spin a 3. And they stop and think what joins with 3. And that's 17. I can see a 17 here, but that won't work because that needs a whole of 20. I can see a 17 here. This would work. 17 add 3 equals 20. And I can also see one other 17, which is here. My 3 would work here. 20 subtract 3 equals 17. I'm going to choose this one because that's closer to winning. So it's important just not to look for the first one, but to stop, take your time and look at the board. I'll show one more example. And I spin a 1. So I stop and think. What joins with the 1? 
and that's 19. So I'm going to scan for a 19. Here's one, but I can't place my one there because that needs a whole of 20. So I'll keep working my way across. Oh, here's a 19. Will my one fit here? Yes. So I say 20 subtract 1 equals 19. And I'll put my counter there. There was also another one here that would have worked. But I'm going to choose that one. This is a reasonably difficult board. So take your time. If our player does, for example, accidentally put their counter here and it's incorrect. If the other player notices and they say, I'm sorry, but that's not correct. It should be 20 subtract 19. The green player would just remove their counter. And for picking up the mistake, the blue player gets two turns. Now it's your turn.